Yes, a tie. Feel like I want to die. A growing crisis is escalating in Ghana, posing a significant threat to health care access and human survival. In a quiet embrace of nature's shelter, an orphaned lady sheds tears. At 25, Mercy Mensa is grappling with the constant threat of kidney failure. If I were having a parent, maybe my parents would try their best. But because of I do, I can feel sad. This has been Mercy's daily routine for the past year, waiting for a miracle to happen. I want to do my transplant because they say I should do the transplant. And dialysis, I don't get the money for dialysis. What about the transplant? Following the high cost of living, she has to cancel her scheduled session due to the increasing medical fees. When I get money, I go. When I don't get, I stay home. Deprived of a regular life due to her condition, Mercy survives every day by a glimmer of hope, albeit her future is riddled with uncertainty. She needs $50,000 for a kidney transplant in India. Imagine needing three rounds of trips a week just to access this critical treatment. That amounts to over 400 journeys every year, putting an immense strain on patients and their families. And as if that weren't enough, the constant increases in fuel prices for petrol and diesel are sending transport fares skyrocketing, making these trips even more financially crippling. Normally, they will need a vein. Sure. Uh -huh. They will need a vein yeah. to put a needle in. Mm -hmm. The increasing cost of dialysis is causing patients to face financial struggles, making it difficult to maintain their health. Daniel Mensa, not his real name, is facing the same struggle. It has rendered me zero, ground zero. Always we are begging. The government should come in. If they can put it on the NHIS for us. But because of the cost of living. So right now, even if I have 100 cities and I spend 20 cities, now I have to spend 10 cities because I'm come to pay 700 and something. So you can imagine. He says the rising cost of dialysis is causing kidney patients to make life-threatening decisions as their lives are being impacted by the financial burden. So most of them is because they were not getting proper treatment, where they were going was not proper. That is why they've lost their life. And because some of them too don't have the money to go to the private. They didn't have the money to go to the private. I can mention no need for names, but I can mention about three people's names. They died because they didn't have the money. The cost of medication for kidney patients in Ghana has significantly increased. There is a big issue as to now Kolibu increasing the prices of dialysis and now it's an uproar. But that is the situation on the ground. The taxes on the consumables are high, so people have to pay a lot to be able to. And that is why the, the people die from kidney disease because my, the majority of patients cannot afford um, care. So it is really troubling. And we Chronic kidney disease patients require regular dialysis sessions as a lifeline. But the increasing financial burden is causing a perilous dilemma. The cost of living crisis in Ghana is not just a statistic. It's a stark reality for kidney patients like Mercy and Daniel who are grappling with the burden of the condition and the economic challenges it brings. Godwin Asidiba, TV3 News, Accra.